How's it going, fellow traders? Magic Trader here. This is the CFTC report for the data that was recorded on March 30th, 2021. So let's start by examining gold and the data that we got. What we see is from uh, last week to this week, we got a, a jump up from longs 262 to 263. Uh, take a look here. This one's a, a nice uh, number right here, 88 to 95. So over the last few weeks, we've seen increases from March 16, 76,000 to 95,000 in short positions. So that was all down at these lows here. Now, does that mean that price is going to head lower from here? Not necessarily. What I will point out to you, though, is how we were bullish. And now we are in more neutral territory. So as far as I'm concerned, I think they're done taking profits on long positions. All right. So what could potentially happen from here on in is eventually start building up long positions. And then we see this or this starts to get larger, the shorts, and then we see a push lower. So either one can happen right now. It's too early to tell. There's no signals on the lower time frame charts as to which one is going to take place. So I'm just sitting on the sidelines and watching. Oil took out some major supply, new demand being created. Big, big drop in short positions from 159 to 139 down here. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they're planning on taking price any lower at this stage, but it's still possible that that does take place. The only thing is when you look at the um, oil, or sorry, when you look at the Canadian dollar, it's set to get stronger. So that would suggest to me that this is probably going to continue going higher. Okay, but we're waiting on the sidelines to see how that one plays out. Okay, so uh, next is we have uh, the US dollar and the US dollar is in supply and we see as price was uh, contacting this uh, supply, longs went from 27 to 30,000, that's as price was heading up, but they also increased their shorts from 22 to 24,000. So what does that mean? Does that mean that uh, price is going to continue going higher because of the 30,000? Or is it just going to sit? Is it going to stall? Is it going to drop? We see a lot of evidence to suggest that price is going to drop. Okay, so that could be that these these numbers are going to continue going up. You know, we see that longs have been cooled off for some time, and if they remain cooled off, we're likely going to see price drop from this area of supply. Aussie U.S. dollar, we see longs increase from 59 to 66,000. And uh, shorts are not doing too much, so longs are increasing, and that's as demand is still holding. So very good chance that we see some upside from this area. U.S. CAD contacted supply, expecting more downside. And what do they do with their shorts? Increase them from 46 to 48. Too early to tell because we were previously in the 50s, right? So, And you look here, we were bearish, now more neutral. So I want these uh, the coloration of these cells to turn a little bit more aggressive before I make a decision on what what uh, price is likely going to do. Uh, Swiss franc they increased longs from nine to eleven thousand. Shorts increased twelve to sixteen thousand. That's as price was rallying up. So it hasn't contacted supply, but we see a lot of uh, pressure to the downside on dollar pairs. So this will likely uh, follow suit and start to turn over. Euro US dollar price was dropping into demand they increased shorts that's what caused the drop in price and they did nothing with longs what is about to happen hard to say but there's a very good indication that we see upside from this area okay now we got the pound not much in terms of longs except for they close some and they close some shorts as, as well uh, upward trend still holding very well on the weekly chart probably see price um, create a foundation here and then head higher. US dollar Japanese yen contacted supply. Here's some of the uh, downside pressure I was talking about. Contacted some supply and now we're starting to see a little bit of a rollover. Uh, longs got aggressive to get up into supply. They closed all their shorts as price was heading up higher. They could turn 
price over and start dropping right now. Even though the coloration of the cells are very bullish, I only suspect that was the case to get price all the way up there. Uh, Kiwi dollar, we don't see much in terms of longs. They closed some longs and they didn't do much with shorts, not showing us anything really strong. They broke a trend on the weekly, but they could start building up momentum to the upside from here. All right, that's your CFTC report for the day that was recorded on March 30th, 2021. Uh, if you want uh, to reach us or learn more about how we interpret the markets and how we interpret the data, you can reach us at www.whiteoakfx.com. Thanks, and have yourself a good one. Take care.